appreciate it. Oh, it's a monster. It's a monster. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Oh, that's the big one. That is the monster. That's the monster that was there earlier, guys. Oh my God. Today's pond hop video has a twist on it. So I have this bucket that has about 20 different baits in here, primarily soft plastics. We also have a spinner bait. We got a jig and a bunch of other soft plastics in this box. So how this is gonna work is we're going to randomly draw a bait out of the box. We're gonna put it on our rod and we're gonna have 30 minutes to catch a fish on it. If we catch a fish on it, we'd randomly draw another bait. If we don't catch a fish on it, after 30 minutes, we'll randomly draw another bait. And this is the mystery bait challenge, guys. So we do not know what we're gonna be fishing with. And we got a wide variety of baits. We have a bunch of different Senkos in here. As I told you guys, we have the jig and the spinner bait. We have a bunch of different crawls. We have a mock crawl. We have some other finesse worms. We got some of these crazy looking worms right here. We also have a pink one right here. So this is gonna put a little twist on today's pond hop. Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of y'all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could take the time, hit the subscribe button, it really helps the channel. I'd appreciate it. We haven't been fishing out in a week, so I do not know what these fish are doing. You know, the last time we were fishing last week, these fish were bedding and they were biting like crazy. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into this thing. I got my Kicking Their Bass TV X Lose combo. If you guys want to check them out, kickingtheirbass.com. They'll be linked down below. It's springtime, guys. These fish have been biting. And it is time for y'all to get out and catch some fish. And I would love to see y'all catch some big fish this spring and summer on a kick in their bass combo. So first things first, we don't even know what bait we're getting. So we're not going to tie on nothing. We're going to go ahead and draw a bait out of this box. By the way, we got some of the mock crawls in here. We got some of the mock sticks. And we also got some of the mock schoolers. If you guys want to check out any of the mock baits, they're available on Tackle Warehouse. I have my link down in the description box down below. By the way, if you guys like the videos like this, I want to do some more. I know most of these are soft plastic. If you guys want to see it with like top waters or other baits, we'll do it. Let's go ahead and reach in the box here and draw a random bait. Look at that. Okay, this is going to be our first bait of the day, which is a little speed curl. And this is in green pumpkin. It's got a little bit of black and silver flake as well. And uh, we're going to go ahead and tie this bad boy on, get the fishing, and see if we can hook into a big fish. First things first, we need to tie on a Texas rig. So we're gonna go ahead and grab one of these quarter ounce tungsten weights. We already have a three aught extra wide gap hook. We just need to put a weight on this. We're just gonna build out a simple Texas rig. That has been the hot bait, guys. The hot bait of the springtime. Old Texas rig crawling. I'm honestly glad we're starting off with it. And we're gonna tie this puppy on with a uni knot, clean and simple. And to rig this bait, pretty simple. And go through the head of the bait, break it through, twist it on up, slide it on top of the knot, and give her a little weedless approach right there. And that is money, dude. That is our first bait of choice, and we're gonna hop right into this thing. Hopefully, we'll catch a fish right off the rip. So, this pond about three weeks ago, I ended up smoking them, guys. I'm talking just waylaid these fish, but I will say the water was a lot clear. Coming out here today, the water looks a little stained. And I don't know what to think about that, man. I hope these fish are going to be biting. And like I said, I haven't fished around here in a week. So, you know, these fish were all on bed last week. I mean, we just had a ball. If you guys haven't checked out any of those recent videos, pond hop videos, they're, they're just unreal, man. We're catching some monsters. And one of the ponds, we ended up catching a six and a half and then a five pounder. And we're going to be going back to that pond here later in this video. So stay tuned for that. And I just saw a blow up way back in that corner. That's a good sign. This tree is usually good. And there's some fry popping right there. That's something we need to pay attention to. A little bit of fry action. Oh, dude, I got hammered. And he actually... Okay, this is, this is where the challenge gets weird, boys. <laughs> you won't believe what this puppy just did. He ate my crawl right off. So with that being said, we only had one of those crawls. We got to draw again already. I did not expect to get beat up by these fish today, especially right off the rip. That fish ate just like a bed bass. We got all our baits in here. Let's give it a little stir, man. Come on. Come on, man. What we got? 
Okay. Oh, okay. Listen, a little bit of stained water. This is going to be even better. And it's the mock crawl, man. We've been smoking them on it. I'm cool. I'm chilling with that. We got a bunch of different crawls in this box. We also have like three different mock crawls in three different colors. So we're going to have a lot of opportunities with this crawl today. Let's start back in here, man. Hopefully he'll eat again. I do not want to get schooled by these fish. Watch him take this dang crawl off too, man. I'll lose my mind. That was a good bite though. Gosh. He hammered it five foot to the left and whoop, slurped that puppy right off now. Oh my goodness. Dude. Oh my gosh. I, that one actually felt like a monster, man. He's got to be on bed there. That was a big boil and that fish. Look, there's a boil right there too. Ate my dang pincher off, bro. Hopefully we catch a fish before he eats my other pincher. Because <laughs> I don't want to just fish with the body of the crawl. There he is. That's probably a different one, dude. They're loaded here. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, boys. Well, we got one bait knocked off the list. Already got a fish on board. Bait number one complete. Okay, we didn't complete the first bait. He totally stole it. But we got the mock crawl and June bug complete, boys. And that is a start to this pond hot video, baby. Let's go. Not a big one at all. But it's definitely a different fish because I stuck the other one. But pretty little guy. I'm wondering if that was a female that bit me. I'm hoping. You know, here in the springtime, all these bass are pushed up. And, uh, you know, when they're both pushed up, the male and the female, female's a bigger fish. This is just a little buck bass, a little male. Thank you, buddy. Oh, nice. You gave me a little shower. Now, let's go ahead and go back to the box and draw another bait. Hopefully, I won't have to retie and I just get another plastic I can put on this Texas rig. Well, let's give her a go, man. Let's give her a go. What we got? What we got going? Okay. <laughs> okay. We're going to have to retie for this one. <laughs> we got a fluke. And this is a crazy looking color, boys. You got a little bit of grayish black on top. And you got like this brownish green on the bottom. This is probably the craziest looking fluke I've ever tied on. You know, when I when I use a fluke, I usually just use like a standard white like that one. But with that being said, we don't need this weight. I mean, we can fish with it with a weight, but we don't need that, man. Oh, yeah, boys. Look at that puppy. Listen, she gonna get munched now. She gonna get munched. Let's go back over by this tree. You know, they've been smoking the crawl, but let's give them another presentation. There's got to be more fish here. I know that one ate my crawl, and then I, that other fish, you know, I stuck them, and then I caught that other one, but there's got to be more here. They're a little off this grass, too. I mean, pre-spawn fish or post-spawn fish might be sitting off this thing. Hopefully pre-spawn, because I like them big old fat girls now, you know? You know what I'm saying? All right, we're gonna work down this bank some more. That tree, I think is special. I definitely think we can catch another fish on it, but I wanna wait till I get in another Texas rig bait. I'm gonna take this fluke in this pocket and just kind of fan cast it around. We might have a better chance of getting a good fish over here. I still feel like that one fish I hooked was a good one, but sadly she's probably not gonna bite again. Come on, I wanna see something crazy now. I'm working it pretty fast, but these fish seem a little active. <gasps> oh! Oh my gosh, dude. That was the craziest eat. I know he's only two pounds, but he looked like a monster when he ate that thing. Oh my gosh. Maybe we need to be fishing with a fluke more often right now, guys. That was a crazy eat right in the top of the mouth. Dude, I watched her eat it like a shark right up on the bank. And that's a good two and a half, two, two, two to two and a half pound fish right there. Very fat, healthy. And she could have been on bed right there just guarding, guarding her eggs. Oh, thank you, baby. Gosh, that was a sick eat, guys. <laughs> Let's go. I know this water is pretty stained, but you see how you can kind of see up near the bank, dude. I just saw her like a shark just come and turn on that thing. That was sick. All right. Let's go back to the mystery bucket. Mock crawl and June bug knocked off the list. Crazy black, brown, green fluke knocked off the list too. And it's time to go back at it, boys. 
it's time to go back at it what we gonna get okay listen this was one of the craziest baits in this box and in the springtime i love bubblegum trick worms i'm gonna tell you but this is more of like a translucent bubblegum worm it's not as bright pink it's like more of that faded out translucent color but this is going to work perfectly on this weightless ewg hook so we're going with the crawl in a texas rig the weightless fluke and now we got a weightless worm this oh, boys it's been a while since i've thrown a weightless worm one of the last big fish i've caught on a weightless worm is the savannah river i caught like a nine pounder on the bubble gum all right let's see what we can do here man I feel like there's another fish on the, oh my gosh, it looks so good. Oh, dude, this is, I'm gonna tell you, look at this thing in the water. I know this water is not super clear. It's got a little bit of stain, but look at that, dude. Oh my, yeah. This might be better than that fluke right now. I'm not gonna lie. See, I'm gonna work this at the top of the water, similar to that fluke. We'll actually see this fish eat it. Dude, that's money. There's gotta be a fish right there, guys. I think I'm working it really fast. I'm just trying to get a crazy bite. <laughs> we don't have many moving, moving baits in there. And after that fluke bite, dude, I'm just like, I don't know, man. I wanna get one to blow up on this thing. See, if we throw it up there and kinda let it sit though and barely twitch it, dude, we're gonna get smoked. Watch, I'm gonna throw this thing out there. We're just gonna let it sit. Let it kind of flutter down. And then we'll give it a couple pops like that. Let it flutter down again. I'm telling you, this is a strategy right here. We're going deep in the forest, boys. Deep in the forest. So many spider ropes. Right, we're gonna cross the river. Maybe there's another uh, opening here. I mean, these are not even openings, guys. These are just... I stepped on the ant pile. Nice. Okay. With all the trees around me, if I can get this in, I think it's a fish catch. Yeah. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know how I'm hook setting. Well, we'll uh, think about that later. All right, boys, I'm gonna be honest. It's kind of unfishable. Let's keep on moving. There we go. There we go. Oh my gosh. I did not think I was gonna get it done within the 30 minutes, guys. And we just got this fish on the pink worm holy cow okay i thought i saw a little bit of movement up on that bank just threw right up there i didn't move it at all just kind of let it sit and i saw my line just start taking off <laughs> there we go another small one nothing big another little buck bass but we are on the road for getting a lot of these baits knocked out guys that is fish number three and bait number three and we're gonna tie on maybe one more bait here and then we're gonna go to some new spots as juicy as this worm looks, I was getting a little worried there. I might have been better off just throwing this dang thing on a Texas rig, to be honest with you. But she got the job done after about 25 minutes of fishing with it. And we are on to bait number four, boys. Let's go ahead and pick one out. So a little update, we got the Junebug Mock Crawl. We got the Fluke done, and then we got the Pink Worm done. So now we're on to bait number four. Let's shake her up. Put her hand in the bucket, what we gonna get, boy okay ho oh, oh. ho here we go we're gonna have to retie here but we have a green pumpkin speed worm and this puppy right here catches fish i would be super surprised if we don't get a bite in here on that we should be able to get that knocked out pretty quick this is a prime bait so i know a lot of you guys think i'm in florida i'm not in florida i'm in georgia but this bait in florida now that is your bread and butter son All right, we threw that worm in this corner, but we didn't get to throw the old T-rig. Dude, there's a huge boil. Oh my God, look at that boil, dude. Look at that freaking boil. There is a big fish right here in this corner and he just ate me. Oh my God. Dude, look at the boil. 
That is a monster. I didn't hook her at all. Dude, we're about to smoke this fish right here, guys. This fish does not seem small. There's probably a couple right here. Hopefully we can get this female. Come on, baby. She'll bite it again. I didn't hook her at all. She got it. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. That's a monster. Dude, she ain't even that big. It's our biggest one of the day. It's like two and a half pounds. Dude, that boil was insane. I literally thought that that was a dang four pounder. Well, we'll take her, man. Good two pounder on the speed worm that quick. And we're gonna have to throw one more bait in here before we leave. I wanna keep on hitting spots today. I don't wanna stay at one hole. I think we can catch a ton of fish in here because they're biting so well. But after seeing that boil, this could be, uh, there could be a bigger, bigger fish up there. Thank you for biting, baby. Good two and a half pounder. Dude, I thought she was huge when she boiled like that and was running. I did not expect that fish to be two pounds. <laughs> oh, that was insane, man. Did you guys hear my rod whistling? That was the biggest catfish I've ever seen. Like the fish catfish me. Who knows? That might not be that big one. I honestly cast like five foot where I got that first bite. So there could be another one in there. But let's go ahead and draw another bait. We got the green pumpkin speed worm right off the rip. And I believe I have another speed worm in here somewhere. All right, Let's give her a go. Okay, we got a Sanko this time, new bait. We've actually somehow picked out different baits every single time. I mean, I know we picked out the crawl, but we got a fluke, a finesse worm, a speed worm, and a mock crawl. And now we got a Sanko. And this color looks pretty good. It's got some uh, watermelon red on top, a little bit of sand on the bottom. That should get munched over here. Texas rig bite is on fire right now. You know, we got that cool bite on the fluke and then the cool bite on the worm, but the Texas rig bite has been instant. All right, boys, let's push our luck. Maybe that wasn't the big one. Oh yeah, it wasn't, dude. Look at the boil. Oh my gosh. I landed. it. Not even a big one. But first cast, dude. Oh my gosh. There she goes. And my sink is in the water. We're gonna try to get this. I don't wanna keep that in the water. It's actually floating. Come here, boy. Look at that. That's some professional work right there, boys. <laughs> Little wacky rig on the Texas rig. Dude, we didn't throw this thing, but for two seconds. I cannot believe how good these fish are biting right here. I gotta throw again, guys. I just feel like there's a big fish in that corner. The boil that I'm seeing doesn't seem like a small fish. And I know we've caught all these males, but there's got to be, there's got to be, there's got to be a bigger fish over there. <sighs> okay, so <laughs> we did the weightless worm in the pink. This one's like an orange on the bottom and a white on top, but we're going to throw it on the Texas rig and we shouldn't have a problem. I just think us throwing it weightless was the reason we weren't getting many bites. Let's run over here real quick. After this, we're just going to, we got to go to a new pond, guys. We want to catch some big ones. There's big fish in here. Well, we're just catching a bunch of buck bass and if we hit another spot there might be a bunch of monsters but let's try to knock out this yellow worm real quick we are five baits in or six baits or six bait I mean, they're loaded in this corner dude i just do not feel like i caught that fish that i was seeing boil unless the first one was him but actually we threw we threw back in and we saw another big boil so I think we could stay here all day and catch 30 fish with how crazy they're biting, but we want to keep moving, guys. Oh my God, it changes colors. Look at that. Dude, it just changed to red in the water. Oh my gosh. There's like an orange. So that bait outside of the water was yellow and we threw it in and it turned to like an orange color. That's crazy. I don't know what type of baits these are. There's just random baits I had laying around that I just threw in the box. That's pretty, that's pretty insane, man. Dude, look at that. Look how red it is. Bro, that is unreal. That bait was literally yellow two seconds ago. <laughs> that is unbelievable. They're just not liking the finesse worm today, man. I don't know what it is. 
It's either the finesse worm or it's the weird colors. Probably the weird colors, if I had to assume. All right, guys, it is time to move spots. And we're going to be after some of these monster fish. This pond just had a lot of males on bed. But this next spot we're going to hit, I feel like we're going to catch some monsters. All right, boys, we're going deep into the forest again. And this spot has been producing some monster fish. And I have been out of town for a week, and I have had... I've just been thinking about this pond 24 7 because of how many big fish I saw last week here and we caught some freaking monsters. It's time to get started. Oh, so with this worm, we actually fished with it for 30 minutes at the other pond. So we are going to get rid of this thing and hop on to a new bait. Sadly, the finesse worm just wasn't, I don't know, both finesse worms almost got done in 30 minutes. You know, I just couldn't do much with it. We have another one in here, but I don't know. Let's see what we get out, guys. Okay. That is the new mock stick and watermelon red. Juicy little color. This pond right here doesn't really have super clear water, nor is it super stained. Um, and I think this color should work just fine. As long as it's not no bright pink and bright red, I think we'll be fine. And I don't think the mock stick, dude, there's a boil right there. These fish might be on bed still. All right, let's creep up right here, guys. I don't want to spook these fish. There's a lot of movement in the water right here. We got the mock stick on the Texas rig. Let's give it a good little angle here. Dude, these could be some monster fish right here, guys. This has my heart racing because I know what's in here. We started off with a six and a half pounder in this pond the other day. There was also some big old snakes here, and you guys know me. I don't mess with them dang snakes, okay? So we need to just be a little cautious right now. <sighs> There's a fish on bed right there. He's about to eat it. He ate it. Oh, it's a monster. It's a monster. Oh my gosh. It's a monster. <clears throat> Come on. Dude, I saw a freaking light spot on the bank, and then all of a sudden I was working my bait up to it, and I saw her big tail flash, dude. That is a freaking tank, easy four pounder right there. We're actually gonna flop her on the scale. Let's go, boys. I knew coming out here would pay off. It took us a minute, and I just, that's why you gotta pay attention this time of year, guys, in the springtime. I never saw that fish on bed. She was hugged up super tight on the bank. Saw her little tail move and it was done. All right, let's see what we get here. Oh yeah, four and a half pounder. Close to it. 4.32. Let's go, baby. Finally, a big one in today's episode, man. Let's freaking go. She was so close up on this bank. I'm gonna show you guys. That was her bed right there. See the little light spot? Never saw the fish, but worked my mock stick up there. And got this big girl. Thank you, baby. Put her right back on her bed. Come here. You. That hurt like a. Well, guys, there we go. We got our first fish of the day, and I just got stung twice by a dang hornet. You got me once right there in my vein. You can see it. Dude, I released that fish, man, and he stung me once on the leg. He was flying around me. I was trying to box him, dude. I didn't know what else to do, and he stung the heck out of me right there on my hand. Oh, dude, those hornet bites don't even play, bro. I ain't gonna lie, dude. My whole hand's freaking numb. Well, that big fish was just sitting there, guys. When I threw her in, she kind of just laid there sideways, and she was just sitting there up at the water. I tried to poke at her, make sure she was good. She was fine. That hornet stung the ever-living crap out of me man look at this got me once on my leg and once on my hand all right boys well we finally got us on a big fish today it cost a little bit which means uh, i got bit by two dang hornets but guess what it was worth every freaking second of it guys four and a half pounder on the mock stick and we are moving we are six baits deep and we're just gonna keep going baby let's go ahead and give her a spin all right, what are we gonna get? The old rage crawl, baby. Listen, that mock crawl's been juicy. Hold on, man. 
I ain't doing that again, bro. I, this thing hurt, bro. The leg one's not even bad. My hand one hurt like a mother. All right, guys. So we got the Rage Crawl. And if you guys know, this is like my favorite crawl of all time. Definitely top three. Um, the Mock Crawl has been doing so well this spring. But if there's a bait that I've been just throwing over the last 10 years, it's been the Rage Crawl. And this is a black and blue swirl. Really great color. And we should be able to get smoked on this puppy. Dude, what is that? Oh, dude, it was actually a gar. I thought it was a bass, but I just saw his long nose come up. <laughs> he actually bit it, dude. He bit my dang rage crawl. Oh, no. He bit my pantser, boy. That's just rude now. All right. No more throwing in on him, man. We're going to get our rage pinchers off. Next thing you know, we don't have another one to throw. There is so much fry up on this bank, dude. Gotta be some bass still here. I didn't see any bed and bass on this bank when I was here the other day, but the amount of fry, this looks too pleasing, too promising. Oh, there she is. That's a nice one. Oh yeah. Old Ridge Crawl got her done, man. Nothing giant, so that's a two pounder. She was right up on that bank, man. Smoking this thing. Let's go, baby. Pretty fish. Beautiful markings on her. Pretty lateral line. Let's go, man. We've only been fishing here for about five minutes. We got the old rage crawl knocked off. My two favorite baits out of the six, seven, I don't, I don't even know what we're on now. I think that was bait seven. I think six somewhere around there my two favorite baits have to be the rage crawl and the mock crawl one i just love a crawl bait two the springtime crawl bait just smokes them and three they're just some of my favorite baits all right boys and girls we are at a new spot now new spot new me baby got our hook box got our pliers got our scale let me get the mystery boxes and mystery boys well, let's go ahead and look in this box and see our options here. So we still have a black and blue mock stick. We have a watermelon Sanko. We have a green trick worm. That color is actually pretty sick, but they have not been eating the trick worm today. We have a black and red speed crawl. We have a spinner bait. We have a mock schooler. We have a swim bait. And then we also have the jig. That is the remaining baits in the box. We're gonna go ahead and get this one. Let's see what we get here, boys. What are we gonna get? The mock crawl, baby. The mock crawl and the juice crawl color. This is actually like a like a bluegill crawl color. It's like a green pumpkin with a bunch of green, pink, and blue. This is probably one of my favorite colors in the mock crawl. We're gonna go ahead and rig this puppy up on the T-rig and get to fishing. Hopefully we can uh, pop a fish off on this really quick. This has been the bait this spring, so I don't think we're gonna have any issues. Right here, guys. No way. There's part of me that says that could be a carp, but I got bit a second ago. <clears throat> and if that's a bass, that's probably a dang 10 pounder. I ain't gonna lie. That's crazy, man. He swirled and he's gone. It could be a carp. I mean, could be some bass on this bank too. And that was just a carp that I was seeing, but I think it's freaking massive, bro. All right, guys, this pond's not really hidden. We're just gonna keep on moving. All right, next spot. Dude, oh my gosh. The moment my bait hit the water, I had one eating it. I'm gonna throw it back in there. In that exact spot. Eat it again, baby, come on. Oh. Oh, dude, that fish is on bed, 100%. Ate my dang crawl, look at that. He grabbed it and started running with it. That was the weirdest bite, dude. It's either a bass on bed, like super locked, or that's not a bass at all. Should feel the way this thing's bite, biting it. I mean, she just keeps hitting it too. She won't stop. I don't know 
what just happened, dude? That was so crazy. Oh. Yeah, both my pinchers off now. All right, guys, what we can do since we technically just got the pinchers off this thing, we can technically just get the other mock crawl because I think we have one more in here. That's what we'll do. It's not the most ideal color that you want, but we should have prepared better with that because that one crawl that we lost, we should have had some backups, but then again, I guess that's just how we're going to run the challenge. We got a backup in this crawl, just in a different color. All right, boys and girls, we are back where it all started. We're going to see if we can bust this crawl out here. Move on to our next bait. Hopefully I end up getting the spinnerbait or the jig or something. I want to I throw something different. There's so many fish right here earlier. Let's see if they bite. She is. That's the big one. That is the monster. That's the monster that was there earlier, guys. Oh my gosh. That is the big one. Dude, no way we came back and caught her. Oh my gosh. I told you guys there was a big one up there, dude. We caught those two small ones and I kept seeing that boil and I'm like, dude, there has gotta be a monster up there. And sure enough, this is her, dude. We came back three hours, four hours later and just caught this fish, bro. <laughs> there is no way. What a gut feeling to pull back up here, dude. Straight up freak. Let's grab the scale real quick. The mock crawl and the mock stick got the big fish today. Let's see if this beats our other one. It's going to be close. It's a four number right here. I don't know. She's a four pounder, but she ain't beating it. 403. Another big one, boys. Let's go. Look at her tail all messed up from being on bed. Let's go release her back on her bed. She got a fat belly, just kind of a smaller tail side. Pretty big head on this fish. But that is a beauty, man. Our second big one today. And we came back for her. Thank you so much, baby. What a beautiful fish let's go man that is why you never give up and just keep fishing guys we had a gut feeling to come back out here i knew that fish was big earlier we caught two small buck bass on that same cast and i just saw that boil and i'm like man that's that's a big fish we come back three to four hours later first cast over there we hook a dang four pounder baby let's go what do we got next the old stanko a different stanko this one has black on top and like a green pumpkin on the bottom. You know, guys, we've really had a phenomenal day. I mean, to catch, what is that? Is that... Dude, I thought that was a fish right there. Dude, this bait changes colors too. Look, it's turning red. It's like a brown, like a brownish red. We have not had good luck with these uh, baits today that are changing colors, but hey, we're gonna keep on fishing them. All right, boys. Let's knock this Senko out. Come on, fishy. Come on, fishy. Just by my bait. I haven't sing to him all day. Gotta sing to him, you know? You know what I'm saying, boys? There's a lot of trees out here. Ooh. Dude, I just got slammed. Come on. Eat it, fish. Eat it. Hammered the back of this thing. There. There he is. Right on that flat, dude. I thought I had some grass for a minute there. Let's go, baby. Knock out this Sanko, son. Come on. That is bait number nine, fish number nine complete. Let's go, dude. 
I know you guys are probably thinking, like, what in the world's Noah doing throwing in the middle? He's been catching them on bed, but that's a flat out there, guys. And a little buck bass right here. Thank you, buddy. Heck yeah. Yeah, that flat, you know, any flat, and, and what I mean by flat is just super shallow section there. I mean, that is only about four foot, two to four foot. It's perfect for them to bet on. And just because, you know, most of these fish bet on the bank doesn't mean that some don't bet on the flat. Now it's perfect. So that is the Senko complete. Let's go in here for another grab. All right, guys, I know this is the whole mystery thing, but since we haven't done it, we're just gonna do the dang spinner bait, bro. We haven't thrown a moving bait all day, and I know you guys are probably wanting to watch me throw this thing. So we just gotta do it. Somehow I didn't grab that puppy all day. It's got these big old blades on it. I just had so many salt plastics in there. So we're gonna finally throw the spinner bait, see if we can get a moving bite. Only moving technical moving bite that we had was the fluke. Other than that, it's been all bottom soft plastics. But I mean, what do you expect in the springtime? But this spinner bait right here should get munched. So this is just a regular Strike King spinner bait. It's got a trailer hook on the back of it, which should be perfect. Hopefully we don't get it in this grass. That's the only thing. But, you know, we only caught one on that fluke. I don't know how the moving bite is today. It might be really good. Just slow roll this spinner bait right over these beds out here, right over the grass. I can't work it super slow because you don't want that grass all over the spinner bait. But run that right over the grass. Might get a couple reactions. Come on. Get one on the spin of bait. Got a little bit of wind here too. I haven't seen wind all day. Perfect for a little bit of chop. Right there. I feel that. I feel this cast. Right there. Dude, that feels like a good one. We're stuck in the... Dude, this is a massive fish. Hold on monster on the spinner bait guys i think dude, i can't even move this fish he might just have a ton of grass on him look at him going sideways what is going on yeah i got a bunch of grass on him there we go <clears throat> i mean that's a good fish dude it's two and a half pounder that fish felt like he's five pounds had him whole bucket of salad on them. That thing come with a little bit of ranch dressing, boy. Mm-mm-mm. Look at that. That's a good fish, man. First moving bait, or actually second moving bait fish of the day. It's a good two to two and three quarter pound fish. Beautiful bass. That was a fun bite, dude. Way out there on that flat. I was feeling that cast. Thank you for biting, baby. She got a couple sores on her, too. I don't know if you guys see that. But guys, I think that is going to complete the mystery box challenge, baby. Let's get it. 10 baits, 10 fish.